Naji Al Ali is still regarded as one of the most influential Arab artists of the 20th century and his fearless criticism of Arab and Israeli politicians and the plight of exiled Palestinians won him international acclaim, but it also resulted in a number of death threats. Thirty years after his murder, a new appeal has been issued. For the first time, police have revealed that this Tokarev pistol was the gun used to kill Ali. An artist's impression of how the killer might look today has also been released. Naji Alali's son Osama was just nine when his father was murdered, but he's now hopeful that the truth will emerge. I don't really want to speculate uh, on, on camera, quite frankly, on, on who we would want specifically, but there are people uh, who were active in the political scene uh, at the time who still are, to a lesser extent, but who still are, and uh, they have information which they did not share. After the killer fled the murder scene, police believe he handed off the gun to an accomplice near London's Fulham Road. That second man then drove away in a silver grey Mercedes car. Neither suspect has ever been found. The murder of Naji Al Ali here in Ives Street in London's South Kensington is widely regarded as having been a political assassination and speculation has raged for many years over who might have ordered the killing. At the time, police arrested several suspects with links to the PLO and to Israeli Mossad. But with little in the way of hard evidence, no one has ever been charged with the murder. Now detectives hope this new appeal will lead to a breakthrough. People's allegiances change. Uh, people who have might, might not have felt confident at the time in relation to coming forward, uh, I'd encourage them now to actually speak to us. Naji Al Ali's signature cartoon character, the 10-year-old boy named Handala, still resonates across the Arab world. Handala remains a symbol of common integrity and the struggle for justice. Justice is also the wish of Ali's bereaved family. Paul Brennan, Al Jazeera, London.